Hi, in this video, we will be solving word problems of sets involving two circles of Venn diagram. Example number one, at a school of 500 students, there are 125 students enrolled in algebra, 300 students who play in basketball, 52 students that are enrolled in algebra and play basketball. Show this in Venn diagram, then answer the following questions. So we have our universal set is equal to 500 students and we have the cardinality of A or set A which represents algebra and that is 125. The cardinality of set B which represents basketball is 300 and we have the intersection between algebra and basketball is 52. So this is our Venn diagram with two overlapping circles representing the set of algebra and the set of students who are playing basketball. So our U is 500 and our A is 125 and our B is 300. So if we are going to start filling in our circles, we will start with the area of the intersection and that is the overlapping area between the two circles and on our problem it is... 52 and then we will be working with the distinct elements of set a we are going to follow this uh, formula a minus b all elements of set a minus the elements of set b so all elements of set a is 125 minus 52 that is the common elements and then it will give us 73 so it means there are 73 distinct elements that we can see inside set A. Next, we are going to work on the set of basketball. The same process, we have B minus A. All elements of set B minus the elements of set A in this particular circle. So we have 300 minus 52 and it will give us 248 distinct elements of set B. We have our first question. How many elements are enrolled in algebra only? So we have a keyword in this one. So we have here uh, algebra only. So meaning these are the distinct elements of set A. So this is the area that are the distinct elements of set A. So, the answer is the shaded region in this Venn diagram, and that is 73. Second question, how many students are playing basketball only? So, again, we have the word only. So, these are the distinct elements that we can see in set B. So the answer for second question is on the shaded region and that is 248. Third question, how many students are enrolled in algebra or playing in basketball? So the keyword here is this or. It means union of two sets. So the union of algebra and basketball. So it means that we are going to add all elements that we can see inside the circles. So our concern is the shaded region. So there are two ways to solve this. First is to use the formula, the cardinality of the union between A and B equals the cardinality of set A plus the cardinality of set B minus the cardinality of the intersection between A and B. So let us remember that the cardinality of A is this one, 125, because 73 are distinct elements of set A. The cardinality of set B is also 300, not 248, but the intersection remains 52. So let us substitute the formula. So we have 125 plus 300 minus 52 
And then, operating this, we'll have 425 minus 52, and we will have 373. So, this is the first process if we are going to use the formula. This is the second process. We are going to add all the values we can see inside our Venn diagram. So, we have here... 73 plus 52 plus 248, still it will give us an answer of 373. So these are the number of students who are enrolled in algebra or playing in basketball. So the answer is 373. We have another question. How many students are neither enrolled in algebra nor playing in basketball this time we have the word neither so it means this is the complement of the union the complement of the union between a and b meaning in our venn diagram we are going to exclude the union we solved the union a while ago that was 373 so, the shaded region shows the complement of the union between A and B. To solve this, let us remember these things that our universal set is 500 and the union of A and B is 373. So, we will be using this formula, the complement of A union B is equal to the universal set minus the union of A and B. So, our universal set is 500 and our union is 373 and then we will have a value of 127 elements of the universal set that we cannot see inside our union. So, we will place this 127 outside the two overlapping circles. So, another process is this one. We are going to add all the values that we can see inside our circles and then we subtract it to our universal set still we are going to generate 127 again if we are going to encounter this word neither it means complement of the union we have another question how many students are not enrolled in algebra so we have another complement. It says not enrolled in algebra. So this is the complement of A. So all elements of the universal set that we cannot see inside set A or all students not taking up algebra. The shaded region shows the complement of A. The formula that we have here is the complement of A equals the universal set minus set A. So we have 500 minus 125 and it will give us 373 students who are not taking up algebra out of the 500 students we have in this problem. We have question number two or problem number two. Suppose that in a town, 800 people are selected by random, 280 go to work by car only, 220 go to work by bicycle only, and 140 use both ways, sometimes go with the car and sometimes with a bicycle. So we have the questions here, how many people go to work by car only, how many people go to work by bicycle only, and how many people go by neither car nor bicycle only? Letter D, how many people use at least one of both transportation types? And letter E, how many people use only one car or bicycle? We have our Venn diagram with two overlapping circles, C and B, representing the set of cars and the set of bicycles our universal set based on the problem is 800 so if we are going to read again our problem we cannot see the cardinality of cars and the cardinality of, of bicycles because we have this word only 
and only. But again, if we are going to start filling in our Venn diagram, we will start with the intersection. And on the problem, we have 140 who uses both cars and bicycle. And the next thing is to write the distinct elements of set C, which is 280, followed by the distinct elements of set B, which is 220. So, with this, we can answer immediately our first question and second question. First question, how many people go to work by car only? It is very clear from our problem. It is 280 people. And the second question, how many people go to work by bicycle only? That is 220 people. Third question, how many people go by neither car nor bicycle? So again, we have this one, neither. It means complement of the union between A and B. So the process that we're going to do is we are going to add all the values that we can see inside our circle and then we are going to subtract it to our universal set. So, again, the shaded region is our concern. So, again, we are going to subtract all the values that we can see inside our circle, subtract it to our universal set. So, we have here the complement of C union B is equal to the universal set minus the union of C and B. So, we have 800 minus the total number of values inside the universal set. So, we have 800 minus 640 and it will give us 160 so there are 160 people who are neither using cars nor bicycle if they are going to go to work and this 160 will be placed outside the two overlapping circles so again neither is the complement of the union complement of the union we have our fourth question how many people use at least one of both transportation types so our keyword here is at least one this is the union of two sets a and b so the process that we are going to do it here is we are going to add all the elements so we can see inside our circles and that is our answer so the shaded region is our concern so we are going to add all these values so we have 280 plus 140 plus 280 and we will have 640 people who are using at least one of both transportation types we have another process. We have the universal set minus the complement of the union that is 800 minus 160. Still, it will give us an answer of 640. Fifth question, how many people use only one car or bicycle? So our keywords are, we have here, only. So again, if it is only, we are going to use only the distinct elements so we have probably the distinct elements of car that is c minus b and then we have the word or again or represents the union or bicycle so we have b minus c so in our venn diagram the shaded region is our concern because it represents only again distinct elements of set c that is for the car and we have the union of the distinct elements of bicycle so we have the distinct elements of set c represented by the cardinality of c minus b plus the distinct elements of set b represented by the cardinality of b minus c so we have here 280 plus 220 and it will give us 500. 
we have two bonus questions. The first one is how many uses cars? And the second, how many uses bicycles? So in this problem asks for the cardinality of set C. So to get the cardinality of set C, we have to include the distinct elements of set C and the common elements between C and B. So we just have to add 280 plus 240 as shown in the shaded region of our Venn diagram and it will give us a sum of 420 for the cardinality of set C. Next, how many people uses bicycle? So the same thing we are ask for the cardinality of set B as it is shown in the shaded region and if we are going to add 140 plus 220 it will give us the cardinality of B 360. Third example 75 drink orders are made in a restaurant and there are two types of drinks orange juice and milk. If 59 people drink orange juice and 18 people drink milk, these are the questions that we need to answer. First, how many people drink both milk and orange juice? Second, how many people drink orange juice only? Third, how many people drink milk only? Let us identify our given. Our universal set is 75. The set of orange or O is 59. Then the set of milk is or M is 18. Then we have our Venn diagram with two overlapping circles representing the orange juice and milk. We know that our universal set is 75 and the orange juice is 59 and the milk is 18. If we are going to fill in our Venn diagram, again, we will try our best to begin with the intersection. However, in this problem, the intersection is not given. So we will be placing X at the intersection for the meantime because that is the thing that we are going to solve. So our distinct elements of set O will be 59 minus X and set M will be 18 minus X. So the process that we're going to do is to add the elements of orange juice and milk. So we have here 59 plus 18. We will have a sum of 77. Notice that this 77 exceeds the universal set of 75. So this will be subtracted by the universal set. So we have 77 minus 75. And then we have a value of 2. And this 2 is actually the number of people who drink orange juice and at the same time they drink milk. So the value of our x is x is equal to 2 or our intersection is 2. And then both sides of our sets in the Venn diagram will be subtracted by 2. So we have 59 minus 2 is 57 for the distinct elements of set O. And we have 18 minus 2 that gives us 16 for the distinct elements of set M. So we can answer now our three questions. The first question is 2. The second question is 57. And the third question is 16. That would be all for today. Thank you so much for your time and listening. I hope you learned something today. Please subscribe for more. Bye-bye!